It looks as if space-time is humming with energy. Buried in the equations of his theory, Joao has found a hidden link between this energy and the speed of light. Well, at some point we found that so two interesting things. When one was that the energy in the cosmological constant also depends on the speed of light. And in particular, if the speed of light drops, then the energy in the vacuum drops as well. And the second thing we found is that this cosmological constant itself promotes changes in the speed of light. It can make it drop in value. So you have an instability. In Joao's theory, a change in the vacuum can cause a drop in the speed of light. But this, in turn, reduces the amount of energy the vacuum can hold, forcing energy out of it and into ordinary matter and radiation. Could this be the genesis of the universe? What happened before the Big Bang? So in some of these scenarios in the beginning, there is just a vacuum, but the vacuum is not nothing. It's actually the cosmological constant, this pool of energy in the vacuum. And in these theories, then, it is this energy what drives changes in the speed of light. It makes it drop in value. And what that does, that makes all the energy in the cosmological constant drop as well. It has to go somewhere. Where does it go? It goes into all the matter of the universe. So it causes a big bang. So in these scenarios, it's actually this sudden drop in the speed of light, this change in the speed of light, what causes the Big Bang. In the beginning was the void. But the void was not nothing. And there was light, and the light changed. And so the void brought forth the world. And the world was good, for it endured until men could comprehend it. But it will come to pass that one day the energy of the void will have pushed all things away, leaving nothing but the void. But the void is not nothing. And you might think this is the end of the universe, but of course, in the picture of this theory, it's just creating the conditions for another Big Bang to happen again, another sudden drop in the speed of light, another sudden discharge of all this energy into another Big Bang. So it is possible that actually our Big Bang is just one of many, one of many yet to come, basically, and one of many which there were in the past already, and maybe the universe is just this sequence of Big Bangs all the time. Joao's bold challenge to the constancy of the speed of light has led him to a wholly new view of the cosmos, one in which the universe no longer has a beginning and an end, but is eternal, an endless cycle of big bangs drawn from the vast reservoir of energy in the vacuum. And like every cosmologist before him, Joao has been guided by the theory that started it all. It is a measure of Einstein's genius that even when he was wrong, somehow he was right. What he called his biggest blunder may yet prove his greatest legacy.